Mel Green is the first performer, and following Mel would be Tom Maynard. So Mel, you can unmute yourself. <laughs> I unmuted you. I'm not there really ready. Oh well, oh, how, how unready my, are you? I just have to get my guitar and tune up. I just came in. Oh, Sorry. I see. Um, do you mind putting me on one, one, one over? Tom, uh, Tom, do you want to take over and do your slot and swap with Mel? I can do that. Sure. Thank you, Tom. Okay. You're welcome, Mel. I'm going to do a Dan Fogelberg song, and hopefully I'm not stealing this from Charlie later on. <laughs> this is um, a song, I think it's off of his second, first or second album, um, and it's called Wisteria. Let's get it right. Sure this is right yet <laughs> let me when i'll start singing it and if i have to start again i will there it is wisteria did you change your face again those of us who loved you when can't even find you Mysteria. Did you lose another man? Did you make him understand that he can't touch you? Was he just like all the rest when he got to the sad part? Did he stay a bit too long to save his heart? Was he just like all the rest when he got to the sad part? Did he stay a bit too long to save his heart? Mysteria, are your lips Still lily white, do they still bloom just at night and die at sunrise? That's beautiful. Next time. It's beautiful. It's great. Thank you so much. Nice job. Okay, are you ready to go now, Mel?
I just muted everybody, but um, following Mel is going to be Doug Danforth. So if Mel Green is ready to go. I am, yeah. I did something okay. very unusual the other day. A friend of mine from Sydney, Australia said they were having an open mic. I was crazy enough to get up at 4.15 in the morning to uh, play at 7 o'clock a.m. here, 8 o'clock there. It was interesting, but I don't recommend it to anybody because it'll wreck your day for sure. Anyway, um, I did this. This is one of the tunes I did. Uh, it was a Paul Simon theme night. So I'm, I'm already with Paul Simon songs. It's a still life watercolor of an hour late afternoon as the sun shines through the curtain lace shadows wash the room as we sit and drink our coffee couched in our indifference like shells upon the shore, you can hear the ocean's roar. And the dangling conversation and the superficial sighs are the borders of our lives. Read your Emily Dickinson And I'm my Robert Frost Note our place with bookmarkers Treasure what we lost Like a poem poorly written We have verses out of rhythm Couplets out of rhyme, syncopated time. In the dangling conversation and the superficial sighs are the borders of our lives. Yes, we speak of things that matter In words that must be said Like can analysis be worthwhile? Is the theater really dead? And how the ruin is softly even I can only see a shadow Till I feel your hand a stranger now unto me, lost in a dangling conversation at the superficial sides of the borders of our lives. Good job, man. Yeah, beautiful, man. Beautiful. That's very nice. Arrangement. Okay, thank you, Mel. Okay, let me see. Okay, so up next is going to be Doug Danforth, and following Doug will be Snake Collection. So, Doug, you can unmute yourself. There you go. All right. So I'm going to do a song called The Raggle Taggle Gypsies. It's a bit of an experiment for me because there is a narration part and then there is the male part and then there's the female part. And I'm going to try to make them distinct. Mm. 
Three gypsies stood at the castle gate. They sang so high, they sang so low. The lady sat in her chamber late. Her heart had melted away as snow. They sang so sweet, they sang so shrill. That fast her tears began to flow. And she lay down her silken gown. Her golden rings and all her show. She plucked it off her high heeled shoes. A maid of Spanish level. She went in the streets in her bare, bare feet. All out in the wind and the weather. Settle up to me, my milk white steed, and go and fetch me my cofonio, that I may ride to seek my bride. Oh, who's, uh, who's, I may ride to seek my bride, who's gone with the red thing on gypsies, oh. What makes you leave your house in the land? What makes you leave your gold, your golden? Oh, come on. What makes you leave your house in the land? Your golden treasures for to go. What makes you leave your newly wedded lord? To go in the bed of the gypsies. Last night you slept on a goose feather bed with the sheet turned down so bravely low. But tonight you will sleep in a cold open field. To follow the rabbit and the gypsies. What care I for a goose feather bed with the sheet turned down so bravely Tonight I will sleep in a cold open field Along with a red of the gypsies oh. Well done. Well done. Well played. Well played. Well played. Nice. Okay. Uh, thank you, Doug. Up next is going to be Snake Gullickson and following Snake will be Rich or <coughs> Albert. So Snake, you can go ahead. Evening, everybody. I forgot clean about signing up until 20 minutes to seven. Unfortunately, Dan was able to squeeze me in here. One of the things I love about playing music, well, of course, I love everything about playing music, but one of the things I particularly love is the way songs can evolve. I've been doing this song for many, many years, essentially this, the same way or very similar ways, until Saturday, I got an idea when I was at an open mic in New Hampshire. And tried those things and they worked and Saturday night I tried a few more and yesterday I tried a few more yet and the song keeps growing and you know you keep what's good and you try to throw away what didn't work but uh, it's fun and it, it puts a whole new light on the song for me anyway. The song was written in 1965 by Joni Mitchell. I awoke 
today and found Frost perched on the town It hovered in the frozen sky Gobbled summer down When the moon, when the, let me, let me start that again. If, now, if, now I'm getting so hung up in my guitar that I'm forgetting the lyric. So let's give it another shot. Sorry about that. today and found frost perched on the town it hovered in the frozen sky cobbled summer down When the sun turns traitor cold And shivering trees are standing In a naked row I get the urge for going But I never seem to go I get the urge for going Cause the meadow grass is falling down Summertime falling down Winter closing in. I had a girl in summertime. With summer colored skin. Not a man in this whole town My darling's heart could win But when the leaves were tumbling down And bully winds rubbed our faces In the snow She got the urge for going And I had to let her go She got the urge for going Cause the meadow grass Was turning brown Summertime falling down, winter closing in. Now the warriors of winter give a cold and mournful shout. All that stays is dying, all that lives is getting out. C 
see the geese in Chevron flight Flapping and a racing on Before the snow They've got the urge for going And they've got the wings to go They've got the urge for going Cause the meadow grass is turning brown Summertime falling down Winter closing in fire with kindling Pull the blankets to my chin Lock the vagrant winter out and Bolt my wandering in I'd like to call back summertime And have her stay for just Another month or so But she's got the urge for going And I'll have to let her go She's got the urge for going Cause the meadow grass is turning brown Summertime falling down Winter closing in She's got the urge for going Cause the meadow grass is turning brown All her empires tumbling down Thank you. We're good in progress, like I said. Yeah, but it's, it's a very nice arrangement so far. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Snake. Okay, so coming up next, we've got several people, first of several people who have either not been here in a long time or this is their first time. So first up will be Rich Eilbert who many of us know from other open mics and Sam W and such. Um, following Rich will be Diane Battistello. So go ahead, Rich. Yeah, it's true. I haven't been doing many of these Zoom open mics and uh, haven't done this one for probably a, y a year or so. So it's great to, it's really nice <laughs> to uh, see all the, uh, the old gang and everybody sounds good. Um, I don't have any upcoming gigs. Uh, the only thing I would point out is that I, um, and some of you may have already seen this, I'd, I kind of had a little, uh, you know, is this, they don't cross a songwriter, uh, you know, and, the, and, I, and uh, Bank of America got on my bad side, let's put it that way. They, they, they charged me a bunch of fees that I didn't think were merited. And I put, put together a song called Don't Bank with Bank of America, 
uh, you can probably it's on YouTube so if you you uh, see my last name there you could look at that you can search for that and, and bank well Bank America should come up um, so you're all invited to uh, to to, to uh, look at that one it's about the bank we love to hate uh, so this song that I'm doing now is one that's pretty recent it's one of, <clears throat> one of mine and it, it's actually owing to a little uh, I might almost call it a inadvertent song pipe prompt that uh, Kate Campbell dropped on me during that uh, there was an, in late August there was a summer acoustic mu music week uh, concert and she the Kennedys and a bunch of like our, our favorite uh, performers uh, played there we were talking about um, I think I was talking about YouTube and how you only get like a thousandth of a penny per play or something <laughs> and how little you could make on royalties because we're she, she's had a, a tough year as far as not being able to make money at our touring and she you know Kate Campbell's from uh, from Alabama and she has a strong southern accent she says Richard you know <laughs> Richard, you know, I got a check in the mail the other day. It was from from my my my, my performing rights. It was from ASCAP, and for one penny, the check said one penny on it. <laughs> we were laughing about that. Anyway, kind of like that idea rolled around my head, and I did a song uh, based on what I thought the value of a penny was, called the Midas Touch. I saw a penny on the sidewalk, but I just passed on by. Maybe a kid would pick it up, but it wasn't worth my while. They say a penny brings good luck. We know that ain't true. Cause in this modern world, one red cent ain't much good to you. Penny for your thoughts, a penny for your song. A penny for your soul before it's dead and gone. Pennies a day won't buy you much. Get along, it takes the Midas touch. Well, the Midas touch turns stuff to gold at 30 grand a pound. That's why I leave those coppers lying on the ground In the land of hundred dollar copays to get you through the door That penny in your pocket won't help you anymore A penny for your thoughts, a penny for your song A penny for your soul before it's dead and gone Pennies a day won't buy you much to keep afloat. You need the Midas touch. But King Midas had a problem he did not foresee. He had all that precious metal that he got for free. But the day he hugged his daughter, her blood ran cold Sometimes a tarnished penny Is worth more than shiny gold A penny for your thoughts A penny for your song A penny for your soul Before it's dead and gone Pennies a day Won't buy you much But I guess they're better Than the Midas touch yeah, I'd rather have that penny than the Midas touch. Yeah, Rich. That's a good one. Thanks. Rich. That's a good one, Rich. Yes, well. Thank you. And pennies are getting <laughs> worthless every day. <laughs> if you uh, yep. follow the inflation rate. Jesus, I can't believe it. <clears throat> Okay, thank you, Rich. Um, so coming up next is somebody who is a first timer here at this open mic. It's Diane Battistello. I just muted you, Diane. I'm going to mute you again. Okay. Um, and it fought, you're set. But it fought, I need to following you is going to be Tom Smith. 
So let's all give Diane a big welcome. Thank you. I don't know why I always miss the sign up for this open mic. I always have it in my head that I'm going to do it and then I know it's like Monday night and I missed it. So I'm glad I caught it, the, open, uh, the email this time. So this was a prompt that I got in 2016. Um, it was a prompt I got in October due in November and the prompt was preparing for the upcoming season. So it turned out to be a song um, for veterans and I want to thank anyone who served um, for your service to the country. And here's a song for you. Back in the day when we wrote letters, the song is called Love Letters. Harvested pumpkins and turnip today. Rolled up the hoses, put them away. Planted spring tulip and some daffodil. And I picked the last of the fresh herb from my window sill, and I'll write a letter. I'll write a letter to you. To you. It's been three months now since you've been gone. One more tour in a foreign land. One more Thanksgiving without you near. Followed by the holy day and then the new year. And I'll write my letters. I'll write my letters to you. Letters from home written every day Written even when there's nothing new to say Written with all my love sealed with a kiss I want you to know how much you're missed And tomorrow I'll pack your Christmas gifts Beef jerky, some candy cane, a new watch for your wrist. I'm always so proud of you and I'm always concerned. So I'll put in some prayers for your safe return in my love letters, my love letters to you. I'll write you love letters. I'll write you love letters. Letters from my heart. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, that's so beautiful. Very nice. Beautiful, Diane. Diane. What a wonderful song. Diane. Beautiful. Diane, you should mention your upcoming uh, gig. Yes. Hey. Um, Sunday afternoon, 12 to 2 at the Burren. Um, Linda Marks has a, uh, a lineup of women singers, there's seven of us, I'm sorry, I can't remember everybody's name, um, and it's a benefit for weeks for kids, so I think it's $15 to get in, and um, love to see people there, should be fun. Thank you, Diane. Thank you. Okay, so coming up next, we can welcome Tom Smith back to the open mic been a while Tom and then following been. Tom following Tom will be um, John Farrell so go ahead Tom that was a lovely song Diane uh, this one uh, is probably more appropriate to follow uh, riches <laughs> I have my own song about pennies um, uh, it, this is a song that connects uh, two events that actually happened uh, 60 years apart, almost exactly 60 years apart. And it's kind of a spoken word piece. <clears throat> Northeastern Pennsylvania, I had just finished morning chores. I put on my canvas sneakers, you know, like the kind Bob Cousy wore, 
It was 1957 on the dirt road to Blackwell's farm to shoot hoops with my friend Jerry up against his parents' bar. A penny's just a penny with a dollar in your hand. A dollar in your hand. I looked down at my feet as my kids kicked up the summer dust. It's when I found a brand new penny that some other walker must have lost. Now a penny is just a penny. It didn't mean that much to me. So I put it in my slingshot and fired it at a tree. Now an old farmer in his tomato patch must have seen what I had done. Shoot that worthless penny into the woods just for fun. He leaned his hoe up against the fence and in a quiet kind of way he, he waved to call me over. That's when I heard him say a penny's just a penny when a dollar's in your hand. A dollar is in your hand. Then he went right back to hoeing. I was confused. I didn't understand. See, I, I didn't have a dollar in my pocket or in my hand. I just figured he was crazy. So I just walked away. Since then, I haven't thought about this once. That is, until today. When I found a 1957 penny on the sidewalk in the snow. It brought that memory of summer, though now it's cold and I'm the one who's old. And instead of a farmer and a fence, there was a teddy bear outside of a tent, pitched there in the alley, right next to a subway vent. A penny's just a penny when a dollar's in your of that old farmer came rushing back to me. Sometimes it can take a lifetime before a, a man can see. So I put that penny into an envelope along with a hundred dollar bill and I left it there on that teddy bear's lap resting on the subway grill. Penny's just a penny when a dollar's in your hand. I have a dollar in my hand. A dollar in my hand. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Okay, so let me see. Coming up next is going to be John Ferrello, and following John will be Charlie and Melissa. So go ahead, John. Thanks, Dan. It's a great song, Tom. Sheesh. It's a song for the fall. Falling leaves Blowing by my window 
covering up my green grass falling leaves nobody wants them it just means snow's coming fast the wind blows from the north get your coat Time to stack the wood, put out the boat. Falling leaves, the weather's changing. Get your glove, say a prayer. Falling leaves, bare trees and bushes. Summer's gone You're still here The wind blows from the north Get your coat Time to stack the wood Pull off the boat of change are in the forecast nothing stays the same always winds of change no one will warn you to watch out winds of change Winds of change Nobody warned me To watch out Winds of change Nice, nice Nice, nice John Well done, John Great song, very seasonal Thank you, Tom, or John. Okay, so coming up next, uh, Charlie Garlani and Melissa Fleming in whatever order they want to go in. <laughs> and when they come back, it will be Deb Goss's turn. I've learned my lesson. Right, I'm never closing for Charlie. Only opening. Seems like we've had a few tear jerkers tonight. Here's another one. Sorry. Ready? Sure. Ready? This could be our last good night together. We may never pass this way again Just let me enjoy it Till it's over for forever Please don't tell me how the story ends See the way our shadows come together Softer than your fingers on my skin Someday these may be all we remember of each other Please don't tell me how the story ends. Love ends just the echo of forever. Lonesome as a love that might have been. 
Let me go on loving and believing till it's over. Please don't tell me how the story ends. Never's just the echo of forever. Lonesome as the love that might have been. Please let me remember, keep believing till it's over. Please don't tell me how the story ends. Oh, please don't tell me how the story ends. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Okay. This is like a two minute pop song. Great for evenings when there's a long list. So. <clears throat> we heard this on the radio last week and uh, decided to uh, use some of the open mics to rehearse it.
Nice. Who's this Thanks. that? Charlie, I, I feel like I should know it. It's J.D. Souther. J.D. Souther, okay. I think it was written kind of as an homage to your uh, only one? To uh, Roy Orbison, I think. Oh, okay, that might be why I think I should know it. <laughs> so it feels <laughs> like that. Okay. There's a little, yep, yeah. there's a little yeah. interval of it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so thanks, Jay, that's great. And, and mm -hmm. Melissa. Um, so coming up next is Deb Goss, and following Deb will be Ellen. Let's uh, go ahead, Deb. Okay, uh, let's see. So uh, I, I, I don't think this is gonna, well, it might affect somebody because <laughs> I'm performing in New Hampshire on Thursday in Northampton at the library, six o'clock. So if anybody's in Northampton, New Hampshire or nearby and wants to come to the public library, they'll learn a lot about 19th century um, history and some New Hampshire history too. Uh, this, I sang something a couple of weeks ago from, from that. This is quite different. It's, but not different from what everybody else has been doing. Today I brought, um, I brought an autumn song and it's by a, Dave Weber, who is a contemporary uh, singer songwriter in, but he's, a, he's basically a folk musician, traditional folk musician. Um, and it's kind of a modern classic. People, a lot of people sing it. If you're in that community of, of uh, music, traditional folk music, he's British. And uh, this is My Lady of Autumn, beautiful song. Right note here. My lady of autumn, sing me your song, play me your tune, tell me I'm wrong, tell me you don't mean the things that you say, tell me that we'll find a way. I clear as winter, your touch fresh as spring, you weigh like the summer, free as birds on the wing. The seasons are changing, it's time you were gone. The colors of you will go on. My lady of autumn, sing me your song, play me your tune. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me you don't mean the things that you say. Tell me that we'll find a way. So now you can tell that that's the chorus. I sang it twice and there's, uh, let's see, two more times at least. If you want to harmonize, that's, this song is great for harmonizing. So here goes the last two verses and the last two choruses. Fields that were golden. Oops, let me get the right note again. Fields that were golden are changing to brown. Leaves that were green now tumble to the ground. The warm sun of summer makes way for the snow. I know it's time you must go. My lady of autumn. Sing me your song, play me your tune, tell me I'm wrong, tell me you don't mean the things that you say, tell me that we'll find a way. The light, it is changing, the sky is overcast. Winter is here now, autumn is past. Deep in this dark world, some warmth I must find. Though it's winter in the valley, it's still autumn in my mind. My lady of autumn, sing me your song. Play me your tune, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me you don't mean the things that you say. Tell me and we'll 
find a way. There we go. Lady of Honor by Dave Ruffin. Beautiful. I love it. I changed, I changed one Thank word you. in that last, um, I changed one word in the last chorus I like to sing, tell me, and we'll find a way. Um, just because <laughs> we need help. <laughs> I'm praying that, that Autumn or whoever wants to come to the rescue. <laughs> what was the band called, please, Deb? Sorry? What was the band called? I forget. The, the Beggar, Beggar's Velvet. I should have Beggar's mentioned Velvet. that. Thank Beggar's you. Velvet is the, um, the, the other couple. He and Dave and, and uh, Annie and um, another couple were Beggar's Velvet. And the Lovely. harmonies are just fantastic. Incredible. <laughs> well sung, Deb. Yeah, that's a beautiful song, Deb. Thank you. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out the, what's coming up on the list. So up next is going to be Ellen. Um, following Ellen, the on the list is Ron Israel, but I don't think he's here yet. So I guess it will be Jane. Um, so go ahead, Ellen. <laughs> It's wonderful to see so many of you. We haven't been getting out as much and hopefully that will uh, get easier as uh, people are able to do that more, but we've been trying to be careful and Alan is here every time helping out. And when I'm not up here, I'm down there uh, sitting next to him. So he's here. And um, uh, I like uh, Patsy Kine. And um, I'm just going to play some of her music. Thank you. Beautifully done. Good to see you, Alan. Good to hear you. Beautiful, Alan. Thank you. Good to hear you, Alan. Thank I think you, we Alan. got the sound levels just about right there. We tweaked the volume and went a little bit just before the open mic. Okay, so up next, um, uh, I still don't see Ron. We will put Ron on when he gets here. So up next is going to be Jane Fallon, and following Jan, uh, Jane will be Jan Sadies, if you're ready, Jan. So go ahead, Jane, and unmute yourself. All right, there I am. Yep. Okay, nice to be here again. Um, pretty tired today, but <laughs> been doing all sorts of things I want to go into. Um, 
I've been doing stuff here with the Florida folk people and I was on the Florida folk show not too long ago. And a fellow who runs it is a Seminole expert, a Seminole Indians. And we got to talking as a journalist and he reminded me or something I think I knew, but never looked into that. The Seminole Indians were probably the first cowboys in America. They uh, inherited the cattle from the Spanish conquistadors and they took over and still today they're raising, uh, raising cattle on Florida land. And so I was very intrigued and I, did some research because it, uh, my dad always thought, I thought of my dad as kind of a natural cowboy. He was never raised that way. So maybe he would inherit it somewhere in his Arkansas background. Uh, so I wrote a song, it's just brand new. And um, it's appropriate because this is beginning of native uh, indigenous history month. I suppose all of November is uh, that history month. So it's called Seminole Cowboy. <laughs> As a child, he heard the tales about the Spanish conquistadors. How they loaded up the cattle into hollow ships and sailed from foreign shores. And how his native ancestors made the cattle all their own. It beats within his heart. It's deep within his bones. And you can tell by the way he sits his horse and guides his herd each day. You can hear it in his voice as he urges them on. See it in his eyes as he scans the land. It's in his DNA. He's a seminal cowboy. He was riding a bulk of Choby way before he was ten born to a long line of cow keepers women and men and as the cattle graze in the florida heat in the grassland wild and free he knows that he is home no place he'd rather be and you can tell by the way he sits his horse and guides his herd each day you can see it in his eyes as he scans the land see it hear it in his voice as he urges them on see it in his eyes as he scans the land it's in his dna he's a seminal cowboy doesn't do it for the money just does what he loves takes off his hat and thanks the lord above swampy marsh and savanna spread far as the eye can go Spurs jingle, cicada whine as you hear the cattle This tribe's worked here for centuries, been chased away and died, but survived to live this legacy, his seminal pride. And you can tell by the way sits his horse and guides his herd each day you can hear it in his voice as he urges him on see it in his eyes as he scans the land it's in his dna you can tell by the way he sits his horse he's a seminole cowboy Beautiful, Jane. Nice, Jane. Great, uh, great song, Jane. Thank you. And I'll be at um, I'll be at the uh, Heritage uh, Village next Saturday. It's broadcast on Radio St. Pete, doing an hour of song or original songs. And then I've been invited back by the Florida Folk Show the following week to uh, be a break in the um, big road race happening in St. Petersburg. So it's online at St. Pete uh, radio stations. So you can find me there. 
Great. Thank you, Jane. Have fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, so coming up next, Jan Sides is the next on the list. Um, if you're ready, Jan, and then I see that Ron Israel is here now, so we will slot Ron in after Jan. So, Jan, if you are ready, you can go. Okay. Um, well, there's a little bit of a story that goes before this. I uh, today received a letter that was 30 years overdue. It apparently was sitting in a box in somebody's closet, and she mailed it to me. And it was from an old friend whose name you'd recognize, so I'm not going to say it. Um, she was somebody I worked with when I worked in the village in New York. And her big break came just before I left, and she went on to fame and for fortune, and I went on to Texas. And if you had asked me yesterday, did you ever hear back from her, I would have said no. But apparently she did write to me and express some stuff. And despite the fame and fortune, she went through some terrible things. And it just broke my heart that I wasn't there to be a friend to her when she needed one. And um, she's gone now, so I can't tell her what happened. And so this is in her honor. An old friend stopped by the other day to open up the closets of the past so skeletons could dance from their hiding place cause change is either here or closing fast and we walk dense forests of memory knowing past today we didn't then and listen to the soft and minor melodies and sang our songs sang our songs to absent friends perhaps they've received their heart's desire where time's less than a shadow on the wall and now that they have met the great simplifier i hope that love's the only memory they recall and it's funny how we knew when we were children that love has no beginning and no end. And funny how we'll seem to have forgotten until we speak, till we speak of absent friends. I so loved the times we shared together. I so loved our travels on the earth. Perhaps the dreams and travels last forever, as birth and life and death and then rebirth. And maybe one day we'll be reunited. Who knows what the universe intends? So raise your glass, raise your glass, raise your glass to absent friends. Be nice to wow. Lovely song, Jan. Very moving. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. you didn't get the letter. <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. Okay. Thank you, Jan. So up next is going to be Ron Israel, if you're ready, Ron. And then following Ron will be Brenson Bofat. Mm. You hear me, Ken? Yep, you're fine. It's 
So me, I'm sitting here, getting old. So I've been told, I've been told. Sitting here, getting old. That's what I've been told. And a poor boy can't make his way. That's what they say. What they say. Poor boy, he can't make his way. Oh, that's what they say. And a blind man don't see where to go. They say that so. They say that so. Blind man don't see where to go. They say it so. But consider the possibility that a blind man learns to see. A poor boy makes it with a heart of gold and and I keep the boogie in my soul, the boogie in my soul. Now I know that you think that you're to blame. That's how it's framed. That's how it's framed. I know you think that you're to blame. That's just how it's framed. Cause your enemy is cruel and mean. That's how it's seen, that's how it's seen. Your enemy is so cruel and mean. That's how it's seen. And your lover is hot as she can be, like on TV, on TV. Your lover is hot as she can be, just like on TV. But consider the possibility that you make friends with your enemy. And your hot romance turns really cold, but you keep the boogie in your soul. The boogie in your soul. Now in this life, there's a lot of stuff. It's kind of rough. It's kind of tough. In this life, there's a lot of stuff. It can get pretty rough. We take up arms. Go to war. What's that for? What's it for? Take up arms and go to war. Brother, what's that for? An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Is that the truth? Is that the truth? Eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Is that the truth? Consider the possibility. There's no such thing. As victory, there's only good old rock and roll and the boogie in your soul. What's that about growing old? Yeah. Beyond. Another winner. Yeah. Rock and roll. Thank you, Han. Thank you. Boogie on, right. Okay, thanks, Ron. Up next is going to be Branson Bofat, and following Branson would be Bev Tappen. So go ahead, Branson. Hey, thank you, Dan. And good evening, everybody. How are we all doing? Thought we'd try a ragtime number tonight. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love that. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Whose was that? That's a Reverend Gary Davis song. Yorma Kalkinen plays it a lot. It's called Sally, Where'd You Get Your Liquor? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Did a great job, Branson. Thank you. Okay. Up next is Bev Tappen, and following Bev will be Mike Santoro. So, Mom, you can unmute yourself. There. Have we lost her? Oh, there she is. There you uh, are. I that was her real number, and I apologize for the phone, but I forgot my iPad up at my daughter's this last weekend, so <laughs> making do. Uh, this poem is written about the, uh, the 19, late 1960s, early 1970s, when my husband and I spent a Saturday raking leaves, and it happened to be the 1st of November. It's called All Hallows Day. Prize fighters, the trees, muscular and bare-chested, have shrugged off fluorescent dressing gowns ready to go six rounds with winter, that old title holder. It's the first of November. We are out to resurrect the leaves, give them a new start in life, in compost piles where they will steam, reduce themselves to a stew chewed by hearty worms into a meal fit for the delicate white fingers of April radishes. Harvesting leaves is not like tugging out rocks or cutting clusters of grapes. With widespread arms, we hug the feathery mounds. We press them down into the cart. My husband tramples them underfoot like hay in the barn loft, he recalls. Chickadees complain, gray squirrels brandish their tails. A jay keeps his distance. Under the clouds, a vocal flock of geese shift lanes, honking for the right of way, ignored by a pair of hang gliding hawks. At noontime, we pause. I cut pink and red chrysanthemums for the table. Bumblebees fasten themselves like pins on the yellow stamen. I flick them off. But that evening on the kitchen counter, a microscopic neon emerald bee-like creature glints on a pastel petal. And I, then I have just 10 lines about the red, the bright red poison ivy that decorates our trees here at Riverwoods Exeter called Buyer Beware. I marvel how the trunks of dead and dying trees are garlanded in fall with poison ivy leaves, gladdening the eye and asking to be gathered to deck a table for a feast in autumn. As coral snakes beguile like harmless cousins, just so were ancient reefs adorned with sirens, caskets with resurrection lilies beautified, and cereals with powdered sugar eyes. Glittering like gold is worthless pyrite. Caveat emptor still is good advice. Yeah. Great, guys. Those are great. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Brings back memories. Yes. <laughs> Okay, thank you. So up next is Mike Santoro, and following Mike will be Joanna Katzen. So Mike, you can unmute. There you go. Okay, I am. Okay, I'm unmuted here. So I'm gonna do a song by uh, a fellow named Danny O'Keefe. <laughs> Cause 
Cause everybody's leaving town Some caught afraid, some caught a play Find the sunshine, leave the rain They say this town will waste your time I guess they're right, it wasted mine Some got to win, some got to lose In good time Charlie's, I got the blues And you know that my heart keeps telling me You're not a kid at 33 You play around, you lose your wife You play too long, you lose your life Find nothing to ease the rain. You know, I'd love to settle down, but everybody's leaving town. Some got to win, some got to lose. Good time, Charlie's. Got the blues Mike. So up next is Joanna Katzen, and following Joanna will be Chelsea Spear. So go ahead, Joanna. Hello. Good songs yeah. tonight. Good performances. Not easy to follow. This is a call, a song called "Don't You Judge," and you guys can do the accompaniment. It's a stomp and a clap. Stomp, clap. Mm, mm, mm. Don't you judge me by the color 
of my skin. Don't you judge me by the color of my skin. You don't know where I've been, what I've been through, or the shape I'm in. Don't you judge me by the color of my skin. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I went to the man, to the man, she, I said, I need work for my daily bread. Well, the man, she said, she said to me, can't got no work for you can't you see you don't look like the others do so i ain't got no work for you yeah she judged me by the color of my skin mm -mm. don't you judge me by the clothes i choose to wear mm -mm -mm. don't you judge me by the clothes i choose to wear shirt and pants and comfy shoes you know they don't indicate what i can do don't you judge me by the clothes i choose to wear mm -mm -mm. well i went to the man to the man i said i need work for my daily bread well the man he said he said to me i ain't got no work for you can't you see you don't dress like a woman should i wouldn't give you a job even if i could don't you judge me by the clothes i choose to wear Mm -mm. Don't you judge me by the number of my years. Uh -uh. Don't you judge me by the number of my years. Just because I'm a growing old, you know it doesn't mean I'm a growing cold. Don't you judge me by the number of my years. Don't you judge me by the color of my skin. Mm -mm -mm. Don't you judge me by the clothes I choose to wear. Mm -mm -mm. Don't you judge me by the number of my years. Mm -mm -mm. Don't you judge, don't you judge, don't you judge, don't you judge, don't you judge. Nice. Yeah. Nice, Joanna. Joanna, was that your song? Yeah. Bravo. Thank That's you. Great. Nice one. Thank you. <coughs> Thanks, Joanna. Okay, up next is Chelsea Spear. Coming back after a little while. Go ahead, Chelsea. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Now go ahead. Unmute yourself. I've missed all of you. Uh, I recently moved and I've been trying to figure out what my video setup would be. Um, so this Friday, I am releasing a new single um, and it's two covers by two artists I love. Um, and this is the A side. It is a cover of a song by Linda Smith, who's a Baltimore singer songwriter. She's not especially well known, uh, but there was just a compilation of her work that came out and I fell in love with the song and I knew I had to play it. The song is called In This, and it goes like this.
Thank you. Nice job. Good job, Oops, what's that? <laughs> so you're releasing the signals on Bang Bandcamp for Bandcamp Friday, is that what you said? Okay. Okay, so I guess I think we're done, except for me. So... I'll do this one in honor of the climate summit.
It's come. Very, very time. Like that, Dan. Nice job, Dan. Nice. Thank you. Okay, so thanks Thank everybody for coming out. Um, the next open mic will be Monday, November 15th. It will be on Zoom. I'll put up the sign up sheet shortly, and I hope you can, all can make it. Thank you. Yay. Looking forward Thank to it. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for all you Good do for everybody. us. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Thanks, Bye. Dan. Thanks, everybody. Good night, Good night Ellen. Good night, Ellen. Good night, Ellen. Enjoy whatever's left of, left of fall because it's going fast. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.